You're watching Poindexter Lounge for the unit. What's up, nerd family? Welcome once again to the Point Extra Lounge. My name is Enosh, aka Enosh Fett, and it is good to have you with me in the lounge today. Now, look, if this is your first time to the lounge, just know that the Point Extra Lounge is a place for nerds. It's a place where you and me and my crew, all of them, can get together, mostly these guys though, and talk about the stuff that we love. Things like TV shows, movies, games, sci fi, fantasy, comic books, superheroes, toys and so much more. And if those are things that get you excited, then hey, you have found the right place. This is the channel for you. So hey, hit that subscribe button, all right? No matter how you found us, we would just love to have you here as part of our nerd family. Now today, we are finishing out our Suicide Squad week. We have literally gone over every figure that's available, except for except for the two variants. There's a variant on Peacemaker without the helmet, and of course, also Bloodsport without the helmet. We'll see if we can find those. But we've gone over all of the, the regular available figures. And when you do that, you can build what they say is the largest figure, build a fig that McFarland has done, which is King Shark. So we are going to put King Shark together. We're gonna review the figure as we normally would. And then we're also gonna compare him to the other King Shark build a figure from the Flash TV show. All right, so thank you for being here. Hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell. And um, hey, let's talk about these figures now. All right, real quick before we jump into the actual review, there is a version of this figure that is not the build a figure. You can just purchase the figure uh, right out as a regular action figure. The differences that I'm seeing here are that with that King Shark, the shorts have some more colorization to it. They have some darker lines to them. He also comes with a couple of uh, appendages, a couple of, uh, I think it looks like an arm and a leg for somebody that he may have eaten. And uh, he also comes obviously with his card, his trading card. So, uh, and then there's this gold piece here. I'm not really sure what this gold piece is, but it apparently comes with that as well. So that, uh, I think that that's part of the gold label uh, thing. Um, I have not purchased a gold label figure yet, so I'm not really sure if that's just a piece that comes with the gold label, but this is what it looks like if you just buy the figure outright. We are going to be going over today the build a figure that comes with the pieces for each individual figure. All right, here are the four figures that you had to buy to get King Shark. Now, like I said before, you could actually just buy King Shark, but I have not seen that figure just available yet. So uh, I think it's just a variant that you can just buy him. Uh, I'm sure from what I've seen, the variants of both Peacemaker and Bloodsport where they have their, uh, their helmets off, um, they, they look like they come also with Build-A-Figure pieces, so they could be set if you get those as well. But uh, these are the four figures. You got, of course, from left to right, you got Harley Quinn, of course. You got Bloodsport, you got Polka Dot Man, and Peacemaker. Uh, so once you get those, you get all the pieces, and then you can put together King Shark. And that's what we're going to do right now. Here are the various pieces that you need to put King Shark together. You've got his legs and his pelvic area right here. You've got this piece that uh, is like his stomach, which looks like a kind of like a rock. This says down and this says up. You've got his chest right here. Then of course you've got his uh, his back over here, his dorsal fin. You got his arms with his hand right there, and then of course his face. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. King Shark. All right, let's put them together. There are diagrams uh, on the back of the boxes on how to put him together, and I'll show you what's left of one of those. Here is what's left of one of my boxes here, and uh, you can see that the big rock piece that's his stomach goes on top of 
the bottom with his legs, and then those just kind of all snap together with the arms in there and then the head. So it shouldn't be too hard. Got his stomach out here front. Yep, that just pops in just like so. Then get him here. I wish he wish he came with his own stand, but uh, but he doesn't. Although he does have holes on the bottom of his feet, so if you have an extra stand, that'll work too. See here, there's the hole that can go right there. This back will go here. This piece goes right in there, just like that. And of course, it's got like male ends and female ends, so you got the holes there and this right here. Same thing on that side. Snap that together. You got this piece. Snap that on top there. Snap the arm back in. Oops. Come on. We got it in there now. And now here is the head. So here is King Shark, and we're gonna go ahead and look at his sculpt. Uh, it's a pretty smooth figure all the way around. It's got, you know, just some variations of gray. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just, it's pretty simple. It is what you, it is what you'd expect it to be. It's got the dorsal fin. Everything's smooth, not a lot of, you know, chiseling. You can see here his, his feet. And let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation. His arm just kind of goes in and out like so. No swivel up here, uh, no swivel at the elbow either. But of course it does bend here at the elbow, but it's a single bend. And then his hand is not on a ball joint like the other figures, it just goes back and forth like so. And then of course his other hand is exactly the same, just like that. Uh, he will uh, kind of spin around a little bit, but it does catch, so you can't really get him all the way around that way. Uh, he will spin around though at the waist, so there is that. Then also down here with the legs, he won't really do the splits, but uh, he's got, let's see, does his knee bend? can't really tell because it's up there in the jeans or in the shorts. Um, yeah, there is, there's a slight bend to the knees, but you can't really see it. And then his, he's got his foot articulation, which is just up and down, basically like the hand. And then they got to have that toe articulation. No matter what you do, you got to have the toe articulation. It's a McFarland toy. So there you go. One other quick thing, you push down right here on his mouth and his mouth will open. You can see there, there are his teeth. He's got a couple of rows there, and then uh, one row up at the top. And, uh, you know, he, he's supposed to be a fun version of King Shark, not an overly serious version, more like the Harley Quinn cartoon. Now, we're gonna go ahead and compare him to my other King Shark figure, which was a Build-A-Figure from the Flash TV show line. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so here are the two different versions of King Shark uh, next to each other. This King Shark was a Build-A-Figure when Mattel had the property, and they did this based off of the King Shark that was featured on the show The Flash uh, a few years ago. And there's a huge difference here. This, this new King Shark from Suicide Squad is more of a comedic uh, character. Uh, he's more cartoony. Uh, you know, you can just see with the detail alone. I mean, I've done nothing 
to customize this King Shark at all. Uh, this King Shark came, you could get two different heads that had a hammer head, uh, head that you could get to it. Now I didn't get that head because I actually prefer the, the Great White Shark head. I know there's some people who really, really like the hammer head and, and that's fine, but I, I like the Great White Shark look. Uh, so it's perfect for comparing these two figures. Uh, but let me show you this one. I, I think I've done one before, a review of this before, but I'll just kind of go over this real quick with you to kind of show you what this is. Look at the detail of this figure. I mean, the sculpting alone is just amazing. The, you know, the jaw goes up like that. Um, the teeth, very, very nice. The tongue back here, uh, just very, very well sculpted, uh, you know, completely. And like I said, this was a Build-A-Figure as well. So uh, you, you see here, his, his arm goes around like that, it goes up and down. A lot of articulation with this figure, especially. He's got a bicep swivel like that. He's got uh, articulation there with uh, his elbow. I like the fact that he's got a fin up here. Now his hand goes around, uh, whoops. his hand goes around like that. So he's got hand articulation. And you know, he's got this claw that's different than the webbed hand of the uh, Suicide Squad version. But I mean, both sides do that. This this side has a, has a fist so you can Punch stuff. Whoop, didn't even mean to do that, but that looked kind of cool. Um, he look at look at this look at his stomach, his, his abdomen here. I mean, it's it's really really well uh, chiseled and 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 well etched. At the back here, very very muscular. Um, he like I said, he's got an ab crunch. Nice ab crunch there. Uh, he's he spins around here at the waist. I'm going to show you something that that you're going to be kind of surprised about here. Uh, but I mean, look look even the jeans, uh, very Hulk esque, you know, kind of like the Incredible Hulk there with the uh, with the belt, and and looks like blue jeans. Very very well done there. Uh, but check this out. Check out this articulation. King Shark can do the splits completely. I mean, the way that they have this uh, done is it's just really done well. And uh, a lot of articulation, he can get his legs up there pretty well. Um, and check this out, thigh swivel, thigh swivel. Yeah, and bendable knee, his feet uh, go up and down. Uh, you know, very, very well put together figure. Uh, very well done build a figure. And uh, I, I really like that. But like, if you look at that compared to this, this, this guy kind of looks dopey now, doesn't he? I mean, he doesn't look, he doesn't have that real look. I mean, he, he just kind of looks like dopey, 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 dopey. And that's kind of how he is in the movie, which is fine. I mean, it's a different, it's just a different version of the character, but they even mention it in the, the uh, the movie that he's supposed to be like a demigod. I mean, that's who King Shark is supposed to be. He's supposed to be this very scary, you know, thing. And lately, they've just kind of made him out to be this very funny, kind of jokey uh, thing. Reading the comics, I know growing up, especially Superboy, when Superboy uh, first came on the scene after the death of Superman, in his solo books, King Shark was one of his villains in Hawaii. And King Shark was was painted as being a very serious character, uh, you know, uh, part of the legend of the gods around Hawaii and things. And if you look at this, which one would you be more scared of? <laughs> you know, if you encountered in, in real life. Uh, lo look at this, uh, look at these mouths. I mean, there's no comparison here, folks. Like I said, it's just a different take. So it's not that I it's not that I don't like this version because look, this version reminds me of the Harley Quinn cartoon, which is fine and I like him there and he's funny and it, and it's great. But when you see the articulation and the way that you can pose this King Shark, I've even used him on the PLW Poindexter Lounge action figure wrestling. If you haven't checked that out, check that out here on the channel. It's just called PLW uh, where I, I use a bunch of action figures to wrestle. I used him as a, uh, as a referee and then he got, you know, into an altercation. Maybe I'll put these two against each other. But, you know, we've already gone over the articulation of this figure, but it's just kind of dopey, you know, um, you know, given, given the whole thing, it's just, it, he's kind of dopey. The, the shorts, it's more like some dad shorts, you know, um, the articulation is not there. He doesn't have a, uh, any swivels, you know, pretty much anywhere and uh, not a lot of articulation at all. So, I mean, it's, if I got to look at who did a better figure, I got to say that it was Mattel. 
And, you know, the interesting thing is, is that this is supposed to be, uh, the new one is supposed to be for the seven inch scale, which, you know, that's the new scale and they're actually bigger action figures. But yet this King Shark is a little bit bigger than the new King Shark. So, you know, compared to the figures, you know, he's, he's much more menacing compared to those six inch figures than this King Shark. You know, but um, so I'll leave it to you. You tell me what you think, uh, you know, of these figures. This this King Shark can stand straight up, a lot more articulation. This this one just kind of looks dopey. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, who do you think would win in a fight? You know, it, it's, it's like it's like this is the real demigod, demigod uh, King Shark. And this one is kind of like his, you know, his brother you know, who comes over on the weekend or his cousin. It's like the cousin Eddie <laughs> from National Lampoon's uh, Christmas Vacation. It's like the cousin Eddie of the King Shark family. So I'll just leave that up to you guys to decide. If it's me and you're asking me which one I think is better, I got to go with the Mattel version. But there you go. And here is the entire team that is available in action figures, at least. Uh, not the entire team from the movie, but uh, who knows, maybe this is what we will end up with uh, in the end of, of people who actually survive. But uh, here they are. This is your Suicide Squad for the Suicide Squad here on the 2021 movie. So there you have it, folks. That is my review of the DC Multiverse McFarlane, the Suicide Squad, build a figure of King Shark. What did you think of the review? What did you think of this video? Please let me know down in the comment section. And also, don't just do it in the comment section, but also follow us on social media where we can keep the conversation going long after these videos are done. And you can show me your collection. Show me what you have. Maybe you actually were able to find the two variants. I would love to see your thoughts on those figures compared to these figures. Also, you know what? I'm trying to put together like a coalition of people who collect toys and talk about toys because I would love to do a regular live stream maybe you know a couple times a month and just talk toys just talk stuff like that we do a lot of uh, panel discussions here on the channel and I'm kind of the toy guy and there's people who collect a few things here and there but I would really love to get together with some other die-hard collectors and really talk shop really talk about this thing that we are so passionate about so hey contact me on social media and who knows maybe you might be in an episode of the toy room all right until next time my name is enosh aka enosh vet saying i am so thankful for all of you guys i'm so thankful for what you guys mean to us thank you to every all of our patrons i don't want to forget you guys our patrons our members of the channel and everyone who gives super chats at the channel we're so thankful for all of you guys and just thankful for you guys just being here and sharing this thing called YouTube, sharing this, this thing called nerddom and fandom. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? All right, guys, until next time, stay nerdy, and I'll see you in the toy aisle.